Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to install Zen Desktop 7.1 installation step by step. So let's have a demo idea of my demo environment. Let's have a demo. Cut, 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 cut. Let's have an idea about my environment. I have four servers. One is my Active Directory, and this is my SQL server. This is my delivery controller. And this is my Zen Desktop Zen agent which I want to share. So here you can see my all my details uh, and the host names and uh, what are the configurations have given to them and the voice also you can see that so first before going uh, doing anything we need to see some prerequisites why because if you want to install troubleshoot uh, free troubleshooting uh, installation we need to do something uh, before going to you have to add you have to install anything on the member server and member servers and clients only Okay, and the means you the all the remaining OS should be the part of the domain and the firewall uh, should be stopped we have two different of provide uh, firewalls uh, one is domain firewall one is public firewall and is one is private firewall three should be off again what is the uh, we need to check the communication between the domain and member servers and client machine why because communication plays an important role in uh, company in networking so we need to check the before doing anything check the communication with the domain controller and do forward can go forward and ns lookup well while we want to configure anything dns play with major role for uh, resolution purpose so if come ns lookup is not working fine it means it means dns is not working so you need to create a records and you need to restart the dns once again Login with the domain controller Permissions is also very very important and we need to look at into that issue because everywhere we have to log in the domain administrator and uh, uh, we have to do that otherwise you need to create the service account and you, need, you should add the, to that to the administrator, domain administrators group and you have can do that and we can install 3.5 and later of, of .NET frameworks in every windows and servers why because Citrix is always works on Windows Server only. So <clears throat> instead of that, so we need to compatibility means so most of the programs depends on .NET framework. So we need to install 3.5 later of 4.5 frameworks. Let's see step by step. First, we need to install SQL Server 2012 Service Pack 1 on 2008 Service Machine. After that, we need to install after completing SQL Server only. Then you need to go to the delivery controller. And we need to configure site. After configuring site, next we move to the Windows 7 and install virtual delivery agent uh, in the Windows 7. If it is a server OS, we call it a virtual delivery agent. If the o, uh, what VDA is common for uh, Windows 7 and uh, Windows clients and Windows OS is also there. Is the name is common, but when we are selecting on the OS, it will be. Mm, is automatically selected that correct version and we need to configure the machine card lags why because of installation of uh, mm, gen, uh, gen agents we need to group them into machine card lags means we that machines we want to de de <coughs> supply to the end users so that's why we need to catalog them and make sure that deliver sheet after adding them we need to see the deliver sheet should be registered why because if it is in unregistered, if we deliver, but the user cannot able to access that. So we have we should always check the register only. After that, we need to configure delivery. We have configured catalogs for whom we need to deliver. That thing we need to configure in the delivery controllers. After configuring the delivery controllers, we need to create the store friends or user development. By default, we create, when we install a delivery controller, one store friend will be default one is created. You can use the uh, you can either you can use a default one or you can customize your store friend. The store friend is nothing but web interface from which the users can connect it to your access and your gen desktops from a web interface. After that, we need to st <coughs> uh, we need to log in into the anywhere into the any machine and we need to install Citrix as well and see the desktop is delivering or not. Okay, this is about all about um, the, the Citrix Gen app, Gen Desktop 7.9. Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to install Citrix Gen Desktop. This is my Active Directory. Here you can see all of my Active Directory, DSCP and DNS. 
and this is my SQL server this is my delivery control this is a foundation which I want to share uh, coming to my SQL server uh, this is my SQL server which uh, which I am going to go install the SQL server here I you can see my I have working in the domain administrator mode and type the IP config which IP you are getting and you check the host name and check the NS lookup NS lookup and ping uh, ping the grid domain grid domain controller yes it's pinging so I have no problems with the communication with domain controller So NS lookup is also that means the name resolution for SQL server is also fine. Now we need to turn off the firewall in the SQL server domain. SQL server. So why why we all do this means we uh, we have to do uh, if you want to do error free trouble installation we have to check before going to install it. Click cancel and go to the now we need to verify that .NET 3.5 framework as installed or not go add features here you can see dot fit framework has successfully installed in that means the total preparation was done to install SQL server now go to the virtual machine settings and click the CD DVD here you can see my network settings Go to CD DVD and make sure these two are connected. Select ISO image and browse the where you are now. In my case, uh, I have kept in the desktop. Select the SQL Server 2012 Service Pack 1. Click OK. Now go to my computer and click the SQL Win DVD. Mainly, only thing is uh, SQL Server will lately execute the Windows. So, don't click the installation and click New SQL Server Standalone. So, before installation, you have on patience. Okay, click OK. Here, I don't have the key, and that's why I'm installing SQL Server in the evolution mode. So, click Next. Click the I accept, and click Next. And check the SQL updates. Click next. Click next. Select all the features with defaults. Click next. Click next. Next. Here you need to mention customized instance name, otherwise, you don't get. Uh, the, the this database validity to the delivery controller so now i am typing as a gen desktop for my convenience why because i am doing the giving the database to the desktop click next click next here select all automatic which gives an option to select automatic
okay uh, so let next here you need to select the mixed mode why because uh, if anything happens we can access uh, sql server through the custom sa account also means we are giving now setting the password for sa account or for sql server click add current user click next and select add current user and click next next add current user click next 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 sorry show details click next install the process will take more than 45 minutes so have patience the initials will get completed click ok and close the all of windows and restart the sql server click restart And again login into the SQL server with the domain administrator mode. Now type the SQL ser server configuration to know the SQL server instance ID if you forgot. Uh, click on SQL server configuration. Now click on SQL server network configuration. Here you can see then the protocol for gen desktop means our the instance ID is then desktop. If you forgot, you can see like this also. Now SQL server part is get completed. Now we have to move the delivery controller. Again check the all the prefixes and type the host name and type the IP config. Uh, check the domain controller the communication with the domain controller and type the ns lookup and check the name of resolution errors no error no resolution errors check the firewall now we need to run our firewall now exit and now we have logged with the domain administrator mode now go to the virtual machine settings Oh, sorry, I forgot to uh, show you the uh, .NET framework. Click next, 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 next. Here you can see .NET framework has installed in my system. Now you can move to the delivery control by virtual machine settings. Now go to CD DVD and click accept. Now add okay now go to my computer and select the iso and click open new window here select the auto select and select as a run administrator mode here we need to install gen desktop in the after 7.7 .7, the, the, the click delivery controller 7.7 .7, they give most option we uh, by then we can deliver applications and as well as the desktop click next uncheck the SQL server express 2 why because we already have the database click next next next
after installation of .NET Framework, it will ask for restart. So simply restart and the machine login as the domain administrator mode to, to continue the existing installation. So click I don't want call home, click next. Uncheck the launch studio. Click finish. Now the strict studio has opened. Now deliver uh, desktop deliver applications. Here you need to create site. Now here you need to mention if you forgot go to the SQL server host name open command prompt. SQL version, copy that and go to the delivery controller and paste it and backward slash and the instance name. If you forgot instance name, go to the SQL server and open SQL configuration. Here you can see the Gen Desktop protocol. I'm sorry, instance name and paste it and copy the both field and paste in the remaining two fields. Click next. Click next. Here you need to select the mission management. Why? Because we are installing in physical missions. Click next. Click next. Next. So finish. Means we successfully created site in delivery controller. After creation of the delivery con after creation of site only in delivery controller, we have to install gen uh, gen agent, des desktop agent. Now move to the Windows 7 and prepare the Windows. Now I need to install .NET framework in Windows 7. Why? Because but in the preparation of setup, I forgot to install in the Windows 7. Click finish after installation of that. So we don't require this file. So delete that and restart the PC once again. Login with the administrator mode. Now we need to check the all the previous sticks. Check the firewall. Make sure it is added to the domain or not. Yes, it is added. Now open CMD and check the host name. Check the communication with the DC and check NS lookup errors and check who am I.
now everything was prepared now go to the virtual machine settings now browse the cd dvd and load the iso and click up ok and go to the my computer and open the dvd in the new window and one new window new window ok and I'll select another administrator select the gen if uh, gen app is gen desktop if, uh, both are combined sound point x so if you uh, in uh, deliver the gen desktop it will become the gen app gen desktop if we gen share with gen app it will be insta uh, gen app means sharing on the but um, we call it as in gen app gen desktop click next so next now here we need to enter delivery controller fqdn name now go move to the delivery computer com delivery controller and go to my computer properties my computer properties here you can see the delivery controller qdn name so click on change settings here you, you can copy select that and click ctrl c and click cancel here paste it and click on test connection if give tick connection then only you have to add click next click next 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 so it in the middle of the installation it will ask for restart please don't uh, in, in uh, restart the machine click i don't want to participate in call home click next means we have also successfully installed virtual delivery agent in windows 7 after installation we need to restart the pc and login as in wait it's a uh, shutting down okay now now click log off why because if you don't click the log off the desktop won't deliver you will get error you cannot start error now go to the delivery controller close on all the windows now we need to create the mission catalogs select the mission catalogs means we have initial de desktops then we need to group them so that's why we are calling, uh, calling as a mission catalogs click next click, select the desktop OS if you install the uh, server virtual driver on server OS, you need to select the server OS. Click next. Next. So I want to randomly click next. Here we need to add the virtual delivery agent computers where you install virtual delivery agents. So I am installing a gen agent on the computer of gen agent so connect check now and click ok click on ok click on ok click next here you need to mention mission catalog name and description for our reference the name was not sensitive for our understanding purpose we need to give that so give as your 
how you remember that click finish now we successfully created mission log tags so after creating the mission log tags press mission cut logs on that here you need to see the resistance uh, registered if you if if we get unregistered the mission won't deliver means please don't go for proceed until you don't get the delivery groups now we need to create a delivery groups up to now we created groups of computers and now we have to create the delivery group now how many computers we have shall only one so select to only one if you want to uh, become um, add this gen describe as a gen app and describe so select the apps i am selecting only two click next here you need to add the desktops click add make sure this the enable desktop option is checked click okay so sorry give the names and description now click next now again you need to go enter the delivery group name description click finish now we have created a group of computers as a machine get logs and a group of users we created as a delivery groups now click on, double click on that here you can see power status and manage if you are on top of one was you will see manage option if we have installed directly on the bare metal so that's why now click on the store friend by default we have one store friend if you want to create click on the store and right click on that you will get a version otherwise you can left hand side you can see the create store option now receive a wait and copy the url set as a default website Check that option and click OK. Now open the Citrix Studio and select the delivery groups. Now we need right click on that edit delivery groups. click on the store friend select the automatically click add new here uh, enter the name store friend name name is not sensory for our uh, remember friends so we have to wherever we see we have to recognize oh this is the store friend you are for our understanding purpose we have to give the names Type the description. Type the description and paste the URL and click OK. After selecting that, you need to select the option. In my case, you can add n number of store friends to the user. now we have created delivery groups now what we have to do we need to check the last step open the mic uh, any browser and paste the store friend url click on i agree and install you, now we need to install the citrix receiver to see the desktop
install the Citrix receiver. Click start. Try accept. Next. Next. No thanks. And finish. Successfully install Citrix receiver. Now refresh once again. Click allow. Now we have given the permission for authenticated users. Type the any user which have a username and password. Click log on. This is the store friend, like the market store. This is the desktop and this is apps. And you can select if you favorite uh, to directly access to the favorites category. Now I am clicking the desktop. Now the windows has delivered in the Citrix receiver window. That is the power of ICA. Now these windows can be delivered to the desktop as it is by Citrix receiver. In the US mainly most of the organizations are using Citrix in this step to save our time. Click log off and close that. Up to now, we have delivered the Gen Desktop through Mission Catalog. If you install these, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and please comment your response what you have done. Thanks for watching this video.